Hello everyone! In today's video I'm going to share with you the amazing health benefits of garlic and the best ways to prepare it to get those benefits. And nope, I'm not going to talk about the mystical use of fresh garlic to keep vampires away. But imagine, if garlic can keep vampires away, what else is it capable of doing? Well, let's find out. Whether you're new or coming back, thank you for your time. My name is Begonia. I'm a dietitian, nutritionist, and educator with a passion to help you become healthier by sharing sound, science-based information. Don't forget to like and subscribe to get more content like this. So let's get to learning the amazing benefits of garlic as confirmed by science. Garlic, or Allium sativum, is a common herb used as flavoring in cooking, but it also has been used as a medicine throughout history. It was taken by the first Olympians in Greece to give them strength, making it the earliest example of performance-enhancing agents. It has been used to prevent and treat a long list of conditions and diseases, and here are seven of them. One, it lowers blood pressure. Nearly half of all adults have high blood pressure. This is a major risk factor for cardiovascular disease. Could garlic be the answer? The sulfur compound in garlic called allicin is the reason for its many health benefits. Garlic has a positive impact in your arteries and your blood pressure. The way this works is that red blood cells turn the allicin into hydrogen sulfide gas. This gas in turn expands our blood vessels, making it easier for blood pressure to be regulated. However, if you currently are taking blood pressure medications, please do incorporate garlic in your weekly meals, but don't stop taking your medication. That type of move should only occur with your doctor's approval. Two, blood cholesterol. Here, science shows mixed results. Some of the most recent results do show that eating one clove of garlic raw every day can help lower your cholesterol. Older studies from the mid-2010s show that raw garlic has no effect on lowering cholesterol levels in people with high cholesterol. And even older studies from the late 1990s and early 2000s show that garlic does help reduce blood cholesterol. Obviously, what this means is that we need more research. But I'm not going to tell you to eat raw garlic and ditch your cholesterol medication. I will, however, tell you that there is no scientific evidence that shows that garlic will harm your cholesterol levels. So why not try it for a few months? On a final note, I get a lot of people trying to be creative about how to incorporate garlic in their diets. One common question they ask me is, can I get my garlic from garlic fries? Well, yes, you can, but as a cholesterol lowering food, garlic fries are not your answer. The benefits of the garlic don't counteract the detriment of the fries. Three, atherosclerosis. Garlic helps reduce the plaque buildup of arteries, which in turn reduces the risk of developing heart disease. Four, clears up skin. Garlic has antibacterial properties and it contains antioxidants that can clear up your skin by killing acne-causing bacteria. If you're using other skin products and they don't seem to be working, give it a go. Simply rubbing raw cut garlic over pimples can clear them away. Watch out though, garlic could cause a burning sensation on your skin. So if you're going to try this method, have soap and water ready in case you have to wash away that garlic. Five, treating athlete's foot. Athlete's foot is caused by a fungus that thrives in warm, moist environments. Gyms are perfect breeding grounds for all sorts of microorganisms. And the easiest way to get athlete's foot is by coming into contact with surfaces that have the fungus, like shower floors and locker rooms. But if over-the-counters don't work, garlic is very efficient at getting rid of the fungus. If you have this condition, crush four to five cloves of garlic, rub them over the affected area, and do this twice a day. Wait for at least a week to see any improvement. And if you do see improvement, continue to do this until the skin has cleared up. Six, anti-cancer properties. Of all the promising effects of garlic, this is probably the most exciting one. Numerous studies throughout the years have shown that garlic offers a strong protection against cancer when added to your regular diet. Scientists believe that the combination of the allicin and the phytochemicals in the garlic is what gives it the ability to kill cancer cells. Regardless of the mechanism, the consumption of garlic on a regular basis has been linked to the reduction of cancers of the breast, 
prostate, colon, lungs, and pancreas. When it comes to lung cancer, a seven-year-long study published in the Journal of Cancer Prevention Research showed that people who ate raw garlic at least twice a week had a 44% lower risk of developing lung cancer. Seven, anti-inflammatory. Research has shown that garlic oil works as an anti-inflammatory. If you have sore and inflamed joints or muscles, rub them with garlic oil. The Arthritis Foundation even recommends it to help prevent cartilage damage from arthritis. By the way, watch my video next week on how to make garlic oil at home. It's really easy and it's a lot cheaper than what you'll get at the store. Now that we've seen how amazing garlic is, let's take a look at how to prepare it to receive most of its benefits. Garlic's incredible health benefits are mainly thanks to its compound allicin. Studies demonstrate that allicin is not heat resistant. What this means is that you will get the most benefits from garlic if you eat it raw. If you want to cook it, do so at lower temperatures, less than 140 degrees Fahrenheit or 60 degrees Celsius. You can also add the garlic to your recipes when you're almost done with your cooking, so it does not cook for more than one or two minutes. Also, you want to be sure that the garlic has been sliced or crushed. This is how you're gonna get the most benefits. When it comes to microwaving, avoid it. In just 60 seconds, the microwave has completely blocked all its anti-carcinogenic effects. Studies also show that 99% of allicin is lost during high heat frying. How about garlic supplements? After testing common garlic supplements for potency, ConsumerLab.com found that many didn't even have any garlic in them. Remember that supplements are not evaluated by the government. So you think that you're buying one thing, but you may be getting another. By now, you're probably considering stocking up on garlic or growing it yourself. And not only for your health, but to protect yourself from vampires, of course. Whatever the reason, there's no doubt that garlic has multiple health benefits. So try to incorporate fresh garlic in your weekly meals. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you come back next week to learn how to make garlic oil. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video before you leave. Thank you for sharing your time with me. Until next time, cheers to your health.